Time once again to take a course in summer school as we concentrate on the politics of football. Who's the commander-in-chief and who's next in line of succession? It's our look at irreplaceable players. Today in Miami where Ja'Cory Harris makes the Hurricanes run. Ja'Cory Harris, remember, started some games as a freshman and last year as a sophomore he jumped into the early Heisman Trophy talk. He became just the seventh quarterback in Miami history to pass for over 3,000 yards and the first since Ken Dorsey. He ranked third in the ACC in passing yards per game. As Ja'Cory Harris goes, so go the Hurricanes in Miami's nine wins last year. Harris threw for 20 touchdowns and just nine interceptions while completing over 60% of his passes. But in their four losses he threw for twice as many interceptions as touchdowns and nearly 50 fewer yards per game. And Jesse, I, I know, I remember early in the season last year, as we were in the ABC studio, you watching this guy and yeah. saying, this guy could win a Heisman Trophy someday. He is such a great talent at the quarterback position. And offensive coordinator Mark Whipple told me last year, he sees the game well and he sees the field well. And in my opinion, Ja'Cory Harris is one of the best deep ball throwers in all of college football. Ja'Cory Harris has an outstanding job of visualizing the space out in front of the wide receiver. He throws it with great trajectory and art, allowing his wide receiver to get underneath the football. Another thing I love about Ja'Cory Harris is his ability in the pocket. He's very very sturdy, keeps his eyes downfield, throwing well under duress. Reminds me a lot of about Kurt Warner in that respect. Now, Ja'Cory Harris has to improve on his decision making. 17 interceptions last year. You see an example here, forcing him to double coverage on the boundary. In this example, you're going to see Ja'Cory Harris with his receiver, LeRon Bird, in the slot running a smash route. He needs to focus on the field corner. Does not do that. It's an easy interception for Oklahoma. One of the best things about Ja'Cory Harris probably is his fearlessness. His ability and his belief that he can fit any ball in any hole. But you watch this for example again, coach, four defenders around the football. Those are the type of throws in the red zone that will give a head coach a heart attack. Now, I think Ja'Cory Harris, the biggest reason why Miami last year finishes 9-4, and four, but you take away a bunch of those interceptions, very easily this team could win the ACC championship. Ja'Cory Harris will be the key again for Miami heading into this season. Well, you've proven he's a talented guy just with that video clip. But what I like about him and I love about him, he's in a position now to lead the entire football team because he's been through the growing pains. All of a sudden, the injury that he had to his wrist, the interception, I think helps him in his development. As John mentioned, played as a freshman, started as a sophomore. He is now savvy enough, mature enough to lead the entire team. It's hard to be a leader when you're a young guy, as you know, particularly a quarterback. You're just trying to survive. Yeah. But he's in a position now to lead that whole team. So who do you replace the irreplaceable pick? Well, it would be A.J. Highsmith. And this is a guy you saw a little bit of playing time last year, Bob. Well, the thing about A.J. Highsmith, he's a little bit limited because he doesn't throw it as well as Ja'Cory. But what really makes me nervous is the unknown. How does he react to those interceptions like Ja'Cory had last year during the season? You know, it helps that he went through all spring as a quarterback. Ja'Cory was out with a wrist injury. But it's easy, as you know, Jesse, to bounce back and practice from an interception when no one's out there. It's tough to bounce back in the game. No so question. he doesn't throw it as well. He hasn't played as much. That makes Ja'Cory Harris irreplaceable in my mind. All right, stick around. We